Hello everybody, this I am Dark Trout, your fishy friend, and it's been way too long since I did a video. I mean, wow, it's, I don't even know how long it's been, but you'll know because you'll, you have the wonder of date uploaded. And we're on Pokemon Showdown because I thought instead of doing my normal Let's Play thing, I'd try doing a little bit of a basic team building guide for Pokemon. We'll be, I'm doing this on Showdown because it's so much easier, so let's hop right into it. So, let's choose choose name. Fish of Darkness. Because that's who I am. Hey, we got a nice little blue color for it. Alright, so first we're going to start off by naming our team. And we'll call it, we're going to call this Fish of Darkness Team 1. Now, in, we're going to make... Oh, look, oops, sorry, forgot. We're going to do NU. That way we have less Pokemon to worry about and there's significantly less diversity because not every single Pokemon in the game is here and there's less Pokemon to, to worry about. So the first thing we want to do is go through the list of threats or list of Pokemon here and try to find any common weaknesses or types that we want to have on our team that will take out most of the tier. So let's see. So far we'll from the first Five, actually six, seven. From the first seven, we've got Excelgor, who's really fast, as you can see. But all of these five would actually not like taking rock moves or ground moves. In the case of Arbok, Audino, what's so, up? See, is yeah, Audino is a good wall, so we'll want a fighting type to break through that. But for the most part, as you can see, we'll want grass. Again, fighting. Rock will help us a lot more. Maybe some dark type coverage. More, we still want more fighting. More rock. More ground. Uh, more grass. As you can see, like, we're getting the general idea of what we need on our team to take out most of the tier. For the most part, we want rock, ground, fighting, and grass. So now, so we know about four things we'll generally want to do. Let's start making our defensive core. Defensive core is usually two or three Pokemon that can take as many hits and will generally deal with as many kinds of threats as possible on their varying side. So if we're gonna we're gonna look down and we're gonna start off with a physically defensive Pokemon. So looking down, you can see on this little column is our defense stats and here's our HP stats. So we'll want like most of both. So I already generally have an idea on who's our good physical wall and that will be our good old pal Weezing who's very... Oop, went a little too far down there. Weezing. As you can see his HP stat might not seem too high but he's got a very fantastic defense stat. He's got Levitate which means his poison type means he's only weak to Psychic, but if we keep our Dark-type coverage on our team, we'll be fine with that. So, item, Black Sludge to help his recovery, since Weezing tends to have issues with that. Will-O-Wisp will completely neuter physical attackers unless they have Guts, which is an ability that increases their attack whenever they have a status on them. So we'll have to watch out for Pokemon like Girder, but Weezing can even wall a Guts-boosted Girder for a good chunk of time until we can take him out with something else. So let's see, Will-O-Wisp wants Sludge Bomb or Sludge Wave. Sludge Wave will allow us to deal with the occasional Quilladin who has Bulletproof, which means Sludge Bomb will do absolutely nothing to him. But Sludge Bomb has a 30% chance to poison, whereas Sludge Wave has a 10%, and there's only a minor power difference, so we'll go with Sludge Bomb. We can use someone else to deal with Quilladins, or we can burn it and then hit it with Fire Blast. And for to give us some semblance of recovery, we'll give him Pain Split, which, as it says here, will share the HP of our target. So let's say they have 100 health and we have 1. We'll both have 50 health, because that's how Pain Split works. And for the EVs, well, let's see, we obviously want maximum health, and although it recommends especially defensive, that's because we have Will-O-Wisp, but we don't want that. The, he's our physical wall, so we don't care. So we're going to get max health, we're not going to be using our attack stat, we, so we can use a nature that reduces that. 
and now we can use 252 on defense because he's our physical wall again. We'll boost that defense with a bold nature. And we'll put the leftover 4 on special attack because he'll be firing off special attacks. Alternatively, we can put that 4 onto speed to, and in some kind of help to outspeed other base 60s. So we'll do that since it's not a, too big a deal, but I guess in the case of Quilladin, well, you know, let's let's look up the stats. We'll go into the lobby and as we see the giant mass of data, we'll type in more data. Slash data, uh, Quilladin, we'd want to be able to deal with. We're faster than him anyways. And to get out of here, why don't we just actually check through the spirit tier list for... As you can see, there are not actually many things that Weezing would other would really be outspeeding aside from other Weezing, so we can generally get to the conclusion that we don't need that four speed, so we'll put that little bit in on special attack. It probably won't come into handy and we'll, you know, I'll get this lobby data out of your way. So now let's see. We've got Weezing now. We'll want something who someone who's on the specially defensive side because wheezing even with investment isn't too too great on the specially defensive side. We also want someone who can take care of that psychic weakness that wheezing has. So let's think. What's good against psychics? Steel, which isn't very common in NU, and dark. So or other psychics, but psychics tend to carry shadow ball or signal beam to deal with other psychics or the occasional dazzling gleam but I do not think the psychic types of NU have at least many of them have access to dazzling gleam so just looking through here we're noticing and just paying it close attention for any notable specially defensive Pokemon who can handle psychic types and all the ooh, Leopard or Lyperd whatever you want to call them Seems to be a dark type, he's immune to psychic, his defenses are terrible, and he's not much of a wall, so we don't want to use him. So, going down, Malamar would not be a too bad a choice, but his stats are a little low for this job. So, continuing down the list, again, Mighty Anna is a little bit frail. Oop, I accidentally skipped a little too head. far ahead. There we go. Mill tank wouldn't too be a too bad a choice, but we're going to keep going. Ms. Magus doesn't resist psychic. Uh, Pangora would get obliterated by a da dazzling gleam, and that's more of our offensive Pokemon, if you can see by the, his decent attack. Continuing down, we've got not too many dark types. We got Shift Tree, who although is Frail does actually have the speed to be able to deal with psychics and, of course, Sucker Punch. Uh, Spiritomb is not a bad choice because Spiritomb, if we decide to put hazards on our team, which is which are always a good idea, he can spin block, which means if someone tries to rapid spin, we switch in our Spiritomb, and all of a sudden they don't get to spin away our stealth rocks or whatever else we decide to put in. So we're going to put in Spiritomb. So, leftovers to help us with his recovery. In case someone tries to use substitute, we're going to use infiltrator so that we can burn through their substitutes. We're going to use calm mind so we can slowly turn Spiritomb into an offensive threat if we need to. And raising his specially defensive capabilities. And we're going to give him rest because he's just very good at being bulky. So... Or, in fact, I'm pretty sure Spiritomb has Pain Split, so we can go with either one. And you'd suggest Physically Defensive, but we have Weezing for that, and it's suggesting that because we have Calm Mind, and we'd be pretty good off. But we have will o -Wisp, which should help us enough, so we're going to subtract our attack, because we aren't using it. We're going to give a little bit into our Special Attack, and we're going to go mostly Specially Defensive. And Spiritomb should be able to do a good job. Not to mention, Spiritomb's only weakness is is fairy which wheezing is resisting to so that's a nice little funsies yes apparently it's a word i'm going to be using i'm so professional all right now looking back into 
things, we want a stealth rock setter or someone who can just start getting hazards out. So for the most part, we'll probably be using a dark type for this, so let's check things out. Bastiodon tends to not have much, he can't do too, too much after he gets his rocks up, so we're not going to use Bastiodon. Uh, Camerupt might not be too bad. Caracosta is more of an attacker than a... Although the stats may not seem like it, he gets access to Shell Smash, so we might be, want to be using him for that instead. Cradilly might be a decent choice because of its bulk uh, and ease of getting up its rocks and its ability and the fact that it's a grass type would help a lot. Uh, Gigalith is, wouldn't be a bad choice. Golem. Uh, we'll just keep checking in case there's something that just screams perfect. Like, possibly Magcargo would do a decent job being a, a mixed wall while being able to deal with a threat known as Swellow, who is also a Guts attacker, and Rock types are generally the best way of dealing with Swellow. And Mag Cargo can do that. So, we'll put in Mag Cargo, and plus we don't see Mag Cargo, and remember, this isn't like a final team. If we need to make adjustments, we will. Flame Body. And we'll put Toxic on Mag Cargo, because we have two Willow Whispers. And Toxic could come in handy if we need to break through someone else's wall. So Lava Plume. And we're going to go give him Recover. And because this is why we're using Meg Cargo, we're going to give him Rocks. And you know what? I'm going to be a little obsessive here and put things... Oop. Recover. Toxic. And it suggests physically defensive and... I agree. We're probably going to be using him to defeat physical attackers, so physically defensive. And now we probably could use someone who can handle water types, or at least special attacking water types. We can't put too much reliance on Spear Tomb because he doesn't actually resist it, so we'll maybe someone with water absorb like Cacturn, who can also provide some offense for us. So Cacturn, Life Orb, Water Absorb. Now we're going to give Cacturn Swords Dance to give him some boosting power. Sucker Punch will give him some very useful priority. Drain Punch will give him some recovery as he's going to be taking Life Orb damage and Seed Bomb for good stab damage. And Cacturn isn't very bulky, so we're not going to give him that much bulk. So we're going to make him 252, all in attack with an adamant nature. We're going to give him minus special attack because we're not using it. A little bit of special defense because we don't really need those four points for anything else since the max is 252. Or, yeah, per two, 252 per stat. And then 252 on speed to help him outspeed, I believe, base 90 Pokemon. So, he can also deal with Alomomomalalamalala, who actually isn't even NU anymore. He's actually RU, so we don't actually have to worry about that, but Cacturn is still a decent Pokemon, so he also deals with Psychics. Now, if we remember from the beginning, we want someone who can de use Stone Edge and Earthquake, because we want Rock and Ground type coverage. Archaeops can do that pretty well. We just have to worry about keeping him above 50% health or else he gets completely, almost completely useless. We're going to give him a choice band so he can really break things through. And we're going to use Stone Edge over Rock Slide because they can both miss. And the power from Stone Edge will help us a lot. Earthquake, for the reasons I explained earlier, we want, we want ground type coverage. Uh, we're going to give him Knock Off for dealing with psychics even though we already actually can and fast band I agree <laughs> all in for speed and attack I'll double I'll quickly double check the speeds here Dodrio is pretty quick uh, we might be able to go with adamant considering the, the way the speeds are here but you know what we'll stick with jolly for now and we need a special attacker or a fighting type since our only fighting type coverage on this team is cacturn and as we've established fighting type coverage will be helpful in NU so who's our fighting type coverage or special attacker uh, how about this we'll use Raichu 
Not Pikachu because Raichu is actually faster, so we'll go and less frail. We'll make we'll make him immune to Electric, which will always be nice. And Electric is a very good attacking sp uh, type. We'll give him Encore and Nasty Plot. Encore can lock them into a move, let's say like Stealth Rock, so they repeatedly use Stealth Rocks and they can't do anything, forcing them to switch so Raichu can get a free Nasty Plot off, which will make him a very powerful attacker. Thunderbolt for Strong Stab. And then Hidden Power Ice. And actually, you know what? We're going to take a little bit of a chance here, and you know what? Raichu could force our, sw our switches, so let's go with Focus Blast for our fighting type coverage. Now, Focus Blast is very infamous for missing, so we can always go back after a match and just change things up. So we're going to stick with Focus Blast for now, Thunderbolt, and Hidden Power Ice, and we're going to see how this works. Fast Special Attacker, I agree with this. Same speed as Archeops too, so other Archeopses would have to be careful because there'll be a speed tie, which means we have to get lucky, sadly. So let's go back. Fish of Darkness Team 1 is ready for action. We're going to be looking for a battle, and let's look for a battle. And I'm going to have a nice little sip of the water. Oh, we're already in battle. We're against Milk Drinker Jim. And let's go have fun. Say hi to the people of YouTube. Alright, so we're going to lead off with our Stealth Rocker because that's generally... If you have a Stealth Rock... Oh, wait, but if you see, he has an Uxie who's definitely going to be his lead. In which, if we had Encore, would be really helpful. So we're going to lead off with Archeops. He did not lead off with who I thought he would. And we're going to check out Jumpluff's speed, because I'm not sure if... This is a speed tie. I do not like speed ties. And as such, I'm going to go for the Stone Edge in case he doesn't like speed ties either. Actually, you know what? He's going to go for the Sleep Powder, or the Leech Seed. So Cacturn, he doesn't care. And... Jump Love can't really do anything unless it's carrying acrobatics in which we're in this. That's just all bad. So we're going to go for the Sword Sands. Perfect. We predicted the switch. And let's see Uxie's speed. We're going to go straight for the Seed Bomb. Okay, he's he wants to get more defensive. We're going to go for another Seed Bomb. He's paralyzing us, which is obviously bad. And... Let's see... Yeah, you know what? We'll go for another... Seat. Oh, that's... He, he didn't care about his Uxie anymore, so he just... Sacrificed it. That's not good. He's going to be setting up Dragon Dances... Almost entirely... I'm, I'm almost guaranteed. So we're going to go for a Sword Dance. This is perfect. And now... I'm not entirely sure, but I think he's going to try to attack us to prevent our boosting. So... Oh, no, he wanted more dragon dancing. But the more he dragon dances, the more... The turns of reflect he... Oh, smart. Substitute. So we might actually... Yeah, there we go. He, he did exactly what we were thinking he was going to do. Okay, so now... I'm pretty sure Mag Cargo isn't particularly heavy. But Weezing should be able to take anything he wants to throw at us. So we're going to go for Weezing. We're going to go for the Sludge Bomb at first. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought he was going to use. Now, he probably won't go for another Substitute, so... He's probably going to just try to get some damage off, so I'm going to go for the Will-O-Wisp now. Just as I thought. Now he's bur- oh, nope, we missed. That's- that, 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 that's just how the, the way the game- we, we might be screwed now. Silly wheezing. Making me look silly to the people of YouTube. Alright. That's all bad. That's- that's- that's just completely bad. Okay. 
This guy's just being silly now. Was well, there a way to... Oh, we can only ignore spectators. We're gonna keep this up at, at the top because he's being silly. Alright, so let's hope we can burn him with lava plume. Oh, no, no, no. We might get lucky and he might get hit himself in the confusion. So we're gonna go for the recover. Perfect. Now he might hit himself in the confusion again. So we're gonna recover. He did not. But he burned himself on us. So that's perfect. Now let's go back into... You know, let's go into Archaeops. Alright, so now we have to deal with a speed tie. I don't want to, but there's no other choice. Oh, we won the speed tie. Perfect. I guess after missing the will o -Wisp, the game gave us a little bit of leeway. Alright, he, he, he believes in gator time, so we're gonna gator done. Well, that was bad, even by my standards. Alright, so we're gonna burn the gator. Okay, apparently not. The game's not that nice. Alright, Raichu, you're an electric type. Hit him with a thunderbolt. He wants to ram us, apparently. And I sense he's going to be scarfed, or else he would not have sent in a, a Rampardos. And we could use Raichu more than we could use Archaeops. So we're going to switch in Archaeops as Death Fodder. Just to find out if he wants to use Head Smash. Perfect, he's going to kill himself now. Now we can send Raichu back in. There we go. Pidgeot's going to come out, and we're going to hit him with a Thunderbolt. Pidgeot's not particularly bulky, so Pidgeot's going to die. He sends in the Gator, I go for the Thunderbolt, and he's done. And that's our first victory. I'm not going to end there, I'm going to go for five matches. This might be a long video, but at least this way we get a nice hang of how the team works. So let's go into our second one. Maybe we'll name the Pokemon after this one. Hmm. It appears we have a Ninjas to deal with. So, oh, this is a pretty bulky team. Oh, Harry Amas and you. I did not realize that. Alright, so we're going to lead off with our Stealth Rock Center, because he's probably leading off with his Ninjas, as we thought. So we're going to go for the Lava Plume. Perfect. And once his Ninjask hits two hits low health, I'm just gonna go straight. Well, should have predicted that. He's probably gonna go for another sub. Okay. And now we're gonna go for the Stealth Rocks just because we can. So now we're gonna go for the Lava Plume. He's very likely to baton pass, or not, because he probably wants to keep his ninjask above 50% uh, health, or... Oh, no, he, there we go, he went for the baton pass. There's a good chance he'll probably switch into that Hariyama. There we go. Now, if he gets burned, he'll activate Guts. Or, he has a Flame Orb, so he's gonna activate Guts anyways. We're gonna switch into Spear Tomb to avoid the close combat. Now, with Spiritomb, we're going to avoid the knockoff by going to Mad Cargo, who we don't really need anymore. We're just trying to essentially rack up burn damage on this thing. He's probably going to go for the knockoff or just something to hit us. He might even switch out entirely if he has nothing to hit our Spiritomb with. He had nothing to hit our Spiritomb with, so we went for the Ice Punch. Now, we're going to be a little sneaky here. And we're going to go... Oh, no. He just decided to go straight for it. And because it's his job, Weezing's going to finish it off. All he can probably hit us with is either close combat or ice punch. Maybe knock up. Oh, yep, see? 
that didn't do too much considering it was guts boosted. So, Weezing, you're doing his, your job pretty well so far. There's a good chance he might send in Malamar. Oh, no, Ninjas came back out. He's probably going to go for the Protect. But there isn't really much we could do about that. We're going to go for another Sludge Bomb. In hindsight, we could have sent out Spiritomb right now, burned the Ninjask through the Substitute, but we're fine. Now, he's most likely going to switch into Malamar right now after he uses Protect. So next turn, we're going to go straight for the Will-O-Wisp. See, Baton Pass probably into Malamar. Will-O-Wisp is going to burn him. And we're going to Sludge Bomb. Not going to do much because he's burned and I'm a physical wall. He's just going to slowly, slowly die. And he forfeited. Whoop. Let's, let's register so we protect ourselves. So. And what is this Pokemon? That's a Pikachu. Register. And as you can see, our ratings, we've won our first two matches. And I say, let's let, let's start naming our guys. I mean, they're doing well for us. We'll go with a male Weezing, name him James. We'll call our Spear Tomb Many Spirits. If you guys have a better name for the Spear Tomb, go for it. We're going to call Mag Cargo. We're going to give him a little bit of a deceiving name and people th and make people think we're a shell smash Mag Cargo by naming him Smash Cargo. Cacturn can be Cactus Man. Archeops, because he looks kind of derpy, we're going to name him Arcdederp. And Raichu, we're going to name The. If you got a better name for your Raichu, leave a comment and. I'll consider it. Let's go back into match three. Say hi to you, YouTube. Also, good luck, have fun. All right, so let's see. We got Odno, we got a Weezing, we got a Whizcash, which is, and it's a good thing we have Cacturn because Whizcash has issues with dealing with grass types. We got a Shift Tree and. Ooh, we got a Carbink. Uh, you know what, Carbink? We don't have necessarily. So oh, we got Cactus. <laughs> so he's probably gonna go straight for the Stealth Rocks or Reflect. So we're just gonna go set up a free Swords Dance. He's probably. Oh well. Okay, we won that. We predicted him too well. Okay, we'll do five actual matches because that, that was just kind of sad. Oh, we, we, we got a Delibird here, so that Delibird's probably going to be a fake out Spikes lead. We've got, oh, we definitely want our rocks up for this match. <laughs> Good luck, have fun, say hi to YouTube. See, that just as I expected. I'm doing a basic team building guide. Yay! Oop, oh, whoops, that was. We, I did not realize Delibird got Destiny Bond, so that was my fault. Sorry, guys. We just lost our Mag Cargo, but. It might have helped against the Bear Tick, but. We have backup plans, so we're fine. Let's see. Who would make the most sense for him to send out? We're gonna send it Arctiderp because. Hello. Oh, nice and friendly. Perfect. We can go straight for the earthquake. Assuming he doesn't switch into Altaria, which is an entire possibility. He did not. In fact, Arctiderp threatens a lot of his team, so it's a good thing we have him right now. This is what we call a bad idea. Unless he's very physically defensive, he's not going to enjoy taking this hit. He did not.
Beartick is a particularly bulky, but I don't particularly want to take easy damage. Oh, it's a special bear tick. That's weird. Okay, we're gonna go straight for the Will O Wisp because I don't even know. <laughs> He's commentating to the battle for us, you know, by typing. <laughs> All right. We don't know what this Altaria is, but it might be a special attack considering he's switching it to Weezing. So we're going to switch into our many spirits. It's a Dragon Dancer, so it's 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 kind of in bad shape. So we're going to go for Calm Mind. He, he really can't do much to our... Oh, Dragon Claw. That was a critical hit, so many spirits can take this just fine. Okay, we're, 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 we're in good shape right now. We're going to hit him up with a Dark Pulse so we don't take too much ridiculous damage. Hit him up. He's gonna go down to the Dark Pulse. He's gonna send in and probably... No, no, Arbok wouldn't do well. He's sending back in Baratic. We're gonna go for the Will-O-Wisp. <laughs> that was a questionable decision unless he expected my switch into Cacturn. So we're gonna go for the Dark Pulse. And that should deal with the Baratic pretty well. Arbok we're fine with. Weezing and Spiritomb can both handle Arbok. Uh, Archaeops is faster than Arbok, so is Raichu. We're pretty much fine. Oh. I will link you. This is my first uh, showdown video. I will link you to the channel later. Oh, he, he went for the poison jab, which is a weird decision on an Arbok because it usually runs gunk shot because it gets coil. It's super good. Dark Pulse. And so we'll, we'll bat it, battle this MJ digit. All right. Oh well, wow, that's weird. He used Dark Pulse on our on the Arbok, <laughs> and that's the game. GG. All right, and the Majidididid guy wanted to battle us. This is a team building guide. I just using the team as a demonstration. After I'm done recording. Okay, so we're gonna put him in a little chat here so that we can uphold our little promise. And this guy wanted to battle us, so we're gonna challenge him. We're not gonna get any rank from this, but we can battle him. Okay. Yep. Let's see. We got Reggie Rock, Malamar, Swubat. Who will very likely be like a calm mind simple because that's all he does. We very much want our rocks up, so he's got the Reggie Rock. So we're our bodies are Reggie, so we're gonna go for the stealth rock. He'll probably he might go straight for the earthquake. In which that's just bad altogether. But we survive. We get our rocks up. We're going to save our Mag Cargo for Death Fodder right later. We're gonna switch into James. We're gonna burn something. Unless he switches into Typhlosion right now. But right now we can use Mag Cargo as Death Fodder in case Typhlosion comes in. Okay, just as I thought. Okay, we're gonna switch into Smash Cargo. See what it wants to do. Went for the extra sensory. We're gonna find out right now if he is, in fact, uh, sp specs or scarfed. <laughs> he very likely is. He's probably going to go for the calm mind, expecting the sucker punch. 
or the or, or the substitute. Now he might go with the air slash right now. So I'm gonna go for the sucker punch. Exactly. He went to the Malamalalamalar. He's probably going to go for the superpower. And I don't necessarily want to take that. But we can give it a try because Malamar isn't particularly bulky. And Cacturn has a decent amount of attack and we're boosted. So we're going to go straight for the seed bomb. Oh, oh, he's faster. Sorry. I made a mistake. It happens. Yep. Okay, we're going to go for the Will-O-Wisp. He's going for the superpower for some reason. We're going to burn him. Okay. Now he's not going to be doing much damage anymore. So we can go for the Sludge Bomb. In case this is, an, this is another Dragon Dancing Altair... Oh, no, we're going to go... We're going to do the safe thing. We're going to switch it to Many Spirits. Ooh, Heal Bell. That's not too great, so... We're going to go for the Will-O-Wisp. We know he, he can use Heal Bell, but he's going to... Oh, he has a Lumberry. But many spirits can take a hit from Altaria. It doesn't have particularly high attack. It just uses bulk to set up a lot of Dragon Dances. So we're just going to burn him again. Because there's nothing really stopping us. Unless he switches into Typhlosion, but we're especially defensive. Okay. He went for the Outrage. We might have to just lose many spirits right here. So. So he's confused now. If I remember correctly, we might actually be faster than this Altera, even though he's boosted. There's a chance, but I don't want to take it because I really don't have to. So I'm just going straight for the Sludge Bomb. Take out the Altaria. He's probably gonna switch into slight tight into slow, blah, blah, blah. He's probably gonna switch into slow, blah, blah, blah. So he's switched into Tishla. We go to go for the sludge bomb. The extra sensory is not gonna kill us, which shows he's probably scarfed and not specs, but what's for sure is he's dead. So the Typhlosion's gonna go down. We've sadly lost both of our all our walls, so we're going to need to bring in someone who can take who could do a lot of damage. So we're going to bring in Raichu because if he switches in Malamar or Regirock, we can hit him pretty hard. Okay, so we went to Malamar. We're going to switch into the. We might actually lose this, but that's okay. It happens. So we're going to go for the Thunderbolt. Okay, he gave us a choice scarf. That lets us be faster than everything, so... Okay. Okay, so he's gonna switch into Regirock, probably? Okay, so he's probably gonna go for the Earthquake, but I don't want to risk that, because it's a bit unnecessary. So we're gonna go straight for the... Oh, see, he might have predicted the switch into Archaeops. Or wanted to predict it safely. So now we're going to go into Arc de Derp. And now, this is the part of Pokemon that can be a little, let's say, annoying. We have to go for Stone Edge probably twice, because the Ludicolo can probably survive, can survive anything. Earthquake would kill this right thing right now, probably, but we can't risk that with a Choice Band, because it would not kill Ludicolo, so we have to go for Stone Edge. And that might kill this Regirock, assuming it's not physically defensive. It did, it probably was not, but we're banded, so that might have killed anyways. So he's gonna go to Ludicolo, assuming he's not a scarf to Ludicolo, and we land our Stone Edge, we should be fine. Unless he's physically oh, we missed our Stone Edge. Yep, that that was just all bad. That's the problem with Stone Edge. Okay, we didn't lose any ladder points. Okay. Okay, I'll link, I'll put the, his chat there so that I can give him the, uh, I'm still going to do a couple ladder games. 
Although we lost, there's not really much we could do to our team because our team is still pretty solid. We kind of lost due to a bit of luck. So, let's go into another battle. Oh, okay, we already found one. Let's see, we got a Crustle. That's either a Shell Smasher or a Stealth Rock Setter. We do want our own Stealth Rock, so I'm going to get in our uh, Mag Cargo. Okay, so, let's see. I forgot our Mag Cargo does not actually, in fact, have... Uh, Willow Wisp. I'm used to running Willow Wisp on our on my mag cargos, so we're gonna go for the Stealth Rocks. Weezing can wall this thing even after it's tried to shell smash. I'm gonna hit it with a Toxic in case it's like some kind of wall. I'm gonna go for the drink some water because my so my throat doesn't get too tired. I'm gonna hit him with a, a lava plume just to do some damage. Did some decent damage. It's not going to do too, too much because I am, in fact, a mag cargo. Of course, he's going to get the five hit rock blast. He does not, in fact, have sh skill link because he is, in fact, a crustle. He's probably going to switch into girder. There's a very good chance he's going to switch into girder. And he did. And now, we're going to make the awkward decision and actually activate his guts for him but that's mostly because we want to be able to wear him down he's very likely to go for the bulk up as i thought he's probably going to try to use our smash cargo as just set up fodder and just keep doing it because we might because he thinks we can't do much damage to him or he's just going to go straight for the attack and kill our mag cargo but we want to just get as much damage off on this mag on this girder as fast as we can. Oh, he just went further straight to for attacking us. Okay. Now, as I mentioned earlier, James can do a very good job walling this thing. All it can really do is knock off. So it's going to be slower than us. So we're going to go for the sludge bomb, do a little bit of damage. It's going to knock off. We're going to lose a bit of our health. And now we're just going to kill it. Okay. He's probably going to go for the mock punch just to do a little bit of damage, but it's probably not going to do much. Okay. Come on. Come on. He goes into the Haunter. I guess he wants to save his... Um, he want, probably wants to save his, his girder for later. So we're going to go for the fire blast. Oh, no, we're dead. Probably. Uh, uh, that was very likely to happen. Okay, we're going to go for... Go into Raichu. This way we can find out what his set is. If he's scarfed, then he outspeeds us, and that's just bad. Yeah, he's scarfed, but... And that's, as I said, it's just bad. He's probably going to send in Girder to go for the Mock Punch. Or Shift Tree to go for the Sucker Punch. Or for Alligator to go for the Aqua Jet. But probably not Mag Mortar to go for the Mock Punch. He does learn Mock Punch, but he's probably not going to go for that. And we're going to go into Cactus Man. Save Raichu for Death Fodder. And... He probably doesn't want to stay in because he has a mag mortar sitting right there. So we're going to go straight for the sword dance. Okay, he's going to go into girder. He's probably going for the mock punch. He's super low on health, so sucker punch is going to kill him. Okay, he's probably going to send in Mag Mortar, but we're going to just hit him with a Sucker Punch. Because we have our rocks out, there's no chance we're going to... We don't have to worry about Sashes or anything. He's going to Shift Tree. He's probably going for the Fake Out, but there's... No, oh, knock off. And he crits us. Nothing we can do about that. Uh, it would have been really nice to have Cacturn, though. Okay, so... We're going to go into Arc Dirt. <laughs> We're going to go for the U-turn. We know he's not scarfed because A, he had a scarf haunter and we just saw his life orb. 
So we're going to go for the U-turn. Assume he wants to try to stay in. Oh, he just, well, I, I expected a lot more out of our poor Arctodir, but he's, he is super frail. Okay, so now we're going to go into our shift tree. I'm going to burn him. Okay, never mind. We're just done. We needed Cacturn. And that doesn't help at all. So we're just going to go for a forfeit. Okay, we lost a little bit there, but we couldn't really do much about that. Okay, so you know what? We can do two more battles. And okay, so let's see. The Vivalon is very, very likely going to be a lead. So, you know what? We're going to send out the. Now, he might go for the sleep powder, in which we'd want to generally send out Cactus Man. But Cactus Man doesn't want to take anything else. So, we're just going to break this thing's sash. If it has one, which it probably does because it's the lead. Okay. Gonna go for the good luck, have fun. Okay, come on. We made our decision. Okay, see, sash just as we thought. He's going for the sleep powder. Okay, now we're going to go into many... We're going to go into Smash Cargo. He can't do much to our Mag Cargo, so we're going to go for the Stealth Rock. Unless he has Hidden Power Ground, in which that's, that's just bad. He might switch into Amistar, but his Vivalon's at one health, and if I get, and he's probably thinking, yep, ooh, that did a lot. But we can survive one more and finish off his Vivalon, so. Oh, never mind. Okay, we're gonna go into Cactus Man. Sucker Punch. He's gonna waste time, uh, Quiver Dancing, but I'm just gonna keep going for Sucker Punch. There's no reason for me not to. See, there we go. Alright, he's probably going to send in either... He's probably going to send in Archaeops or Sneasel. Maybe Regice. Actually, you know what? All of his... A good chunk of his Pokemon can do a decent amount to uh, our Cactus Man. But we generally have a plan for whatever he sends out at us. You know what, this, let's, how long has this video been going on for? It's probably been going on for a while now, so... Yeah, you know, this is an extremely long video, so I'm going to very likely end it after this match. Sorry for the absurdly long video, but that's, that's my little basic guide. This guy needs to hurry up, though. Alright, he's going, he went to Magmortar. I'm going to go for the Sucker Punch, because I don't think... Magmortar is particularly specially bulky, so. Or physically bulky. Go for the Sucker Punch. Once he picks his move. So, yep. Yep, Cactus Man did a good job there. Now, he probably. He might send in Archaeops. Hold on, let, let me do some stat checking. Archaeops. That Magmor Magmortar. If he sends an Archaeops, we can just sucker punch him again, and because Magmortar is actually more bulky than Archaeops, he's just gonna die. Red Ice will be an issue, sort of, but I think I can send in Spiritomb and just wall it after burning it. Went to this Sneasel, so I'm gonna go straight into James because I have no interest in. He's confused.
Okay, so this guy has a bit of a temper, but... I'm going to point out that if it shouldn't... Oh, okay, oh, well, I did it. He should hurry up at some point. I'm going to burn him. We're gonna go for the fire blast, or you know what, we're gonna go for the sludge bomb. Seasonal is not really bulky, so it's not gonna take it well. Yeah. Sludge bomb again. This Sneasel's gonna die. Although if he wants to be cheeky, we're gonna go for the Will-O-Wisp. He's gonna die to burn damage no matter what. If he tries to be uh, greedy or something, or do something weird. Okay, he didn't. But he died to burn damage anyways. There was no risk to be had in using will o -Wisp there, there was only reward. Okay, he's really, really taking a long time with this. He's making my video longer than it needs to be. Okay, go for the Will-O-Wisp, get some damage off on this Amistar. S slowly start whittling this thing down. I'll probably d s send James out so that he can stay alive in case I need him for that Archaeops he has. So let's burn the Amistar for now, because he's very likely to go for the Shell Smash. See, as he, as I expected, he went for the shell smash. He's actually focused sash, so he didn't even. Okay. Now we're going to go into many spirits. Went for the scald. Yeah, he's probably gonna go for the scald again. We might be taking an, a very unnecessary risk right now, but. We're in very good shape right now. If he goes for the if he goes for the ice beam protecting this, that would be amazing. Wow, that, that I'll admit that was kind of amazing. Oh well. Oh well. All right. So that was a that was a very unnecessary risk, and that might have actually cost us the game. But I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some quick thinking. Omstar has 55 speed. Uh, Arcty Derp might be able to just outspeed him. Earthquake. Nope. Never mind. Yeah, that was an unnecessary risk. I really shouldn't have done that. Whoops. My bad, guys. That was just me being greedy. I very, very, very... The smart thing to do, instead of being greedy, was to just let... Let... Uh, let, um... Let Spiritum die. Yeah, pretty much just let Spiritum die. Kill him with a sucker punch. Instead of just being greedy. Never get greedy in this game, guys. Don't do it. Okay. In hindsight, we should have done it. No, no, not yet. How, how long is this video? It's too long. We're going to try to go for one more quick match. We haven't hit the hour mark yet. Apparently... Oh, okay, we got a cool team here. I'm gonna... Arcadier would... threatens a lot of his team. Okay. So we're gonna go straight for the Earthquake. Luxray doesn't really run Scarf... Oh, wait, it's not a Guts Luxray. 
Whoops. Okay. Clearly it's time to end the video because I'm not even thinking anymore. Archaeops is pretty much useless because I did something extraordinarily stupid. And I decided not to think. Okay, we're gonna burn something. His luxury is not guts, so we don't have to worry about that. Our Archaeops is effectively death fodder right now, too. That Viper is very likely to be a Spex Viper. It might be a physical one, but people would generally use Arbok on the physical side. But his team's kind of cool, so it's kind of iffy what he's going to do. So we went to Grumpig because it's a Psychic type. Now we're going to go into Many Spirits. Does Grumpy get Heal Bell? Might get Heal Bell. Let's check if Grumpy gets Heal Bell. Grumpig, Heal Bell. Yep, it gets Heal Bell. We're going to go for another Will-O-Wisp because he's probably going to switch out because I am a Spiritomb and he is a Grumpig. So we're going to try to predict that switch and go for the Will-O-Wisp. Okay. We're going to try to start... We're just going to start Calm Minding up then. He's probably going to go for another Heal Bell. Because he can. The Thunder Wave will only matter as long as he... Oh, we got paralyzed. Yeah, that's essentially the only case in which that paralysis really matters for Spiritomb. I'm gonna start the timer. Come on. Are we going to win this due to default? I might have to cut this out of the video. But I suppose this is as good a time as any to mention. If you enjoyed yourself, subscribe. Tell your friends. If you like the video, like the video. Be sure to comment. Leave your opinion. Your opinion, of course, matters. Many spirits doesn't know how to move. That saddens me. Goes for the rain dance, so we're gonna go for the calm mind. Also known as the clam mind. Be sure to subscribe, rate the video, tell your friends, don't be shy to rate and all that good stuff. I'm gonna go for the keep going for calm minds. I'm gonna go for one more. Okay, he goes for the... he went to Luxray. I don't know if Luxray gets Trick or something, but just in case, we're going to go straight for the Dark Pulse. Because Dark Pulse will hit his whole team at least neutrally. <laughs> okay, Luxray did not enjoy that, so that's kind of funny. Who's gonna who's gonna switch in next? He's probably gonna switch in one of his physical attackers. Or his Parasect? We're gonna go for the pain split just in because I might be able to survive anything this Parasect wants to try to use on me. Yep. Perfect. Now we can Oh, he forfeited. <laughs> he didn't want to have to deal with the the spirit tomb, although let's see. Probably could have gone for another X Scissor to weaken me down. Sand Slash probably could have gone for an Earthquake and 
which I probably, in case, would have either burned the thing or killed the thing. But he probably could have done somewhere. Anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. I'm sorry it's been a long time. Hopefully this long video makes up for it. Maybe this long vi video is counterintuitive. If you enjoyed this kind of thing, I'll do more. Be sure to leave a comment. You guys are awesome, and you all look lovely today, and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. This has been Dark Trout, your fishy friend.